Ever heard of the penny challenge? Well, of course you have. After all, Ryan Trahan isn't an ordinary person. With his antics and challenges, it has allowed him to garner millions of followers and even led him to meet a Mr. Beast. But all of this didn't happen overnight. He had to work his way into the YouTube Hall of Fame. Ryan was born October 7th, 1998 in the quaint community of Eagle Lake, Texas. He was a top student of Rice High School located in Alter, Texas and graduated as a valedictorian. Throughout the years, Ryan has come to be a widely known figure on YouTube. In 2021, he garnered a total of 313 million Million views and over 3.3 million new subscribers on his channel. From his thumbnails to the style of his videos, it had come to garner an ever-growing number of people around the world who would come to watch and tune into each video he would make. In October 2013, Ryan would come to make his debut on YouTube with two channels titled Ryan Trahan and Ryan Trahan in Real Life. His first video on his main channel would be a short parody video titled PSA Drink Water. Following that video, he would start to upload various content related to various running events and contests that he had participated in. Originally, most of the content he posted was made for runners with the intent that they could hopefully find use in the advice he gave. In a video titled, My Fastest Mile Time Ever, Schrader Mile 2017, it got more than 250,000 views during that time period, making it his most popular video at the time. In April 2018, he uploaded a video titled, Copying Emma Chamberlain's Instagram for a Week. It would result in him gaining an influx of new followers and more than 1.5 million views. Ultimately, it led to a rapid growth for his channel. Following that, in June 2018, Ryan would go to publish a video that would be one of his most popular of all time titled Lauren Gray is lying to you. It would proceed to reach almost 8 million views in the time span of a year since its initial release. With the success of the video alongside his other video series titled Turning One Penny into $1,000, it was around that time Ryan decided it was time to switch his niche from being a channel centered around runners and athletes to content that focused more on what was doing the best on his channel. His new tactic involved making videos around his lifestyle as well as vlogs. With that change, it allowed him to attain success that only many YouTubers would dream of with him now reaching over 10 million subscribers on his channel. Now while the videos were great, it was a strategy that would ultimately keep the momentum going that grew his channel. Earlier this year, Ryan posted a video titled, I want Dr. Phil to be my grandpa. Ryan revealed he did not have a grandpa when he was growing up and so in an email he sent in 2021, he established a deal with Dr. Phil's agent Alicia that would legally be able to have Dr. Phil be his adopted grandfather if his channel overtook Dr. Phil's channel in the number of subscribers. Earlier this year, his channel would come to achieve the goal and would lead him to being able to meet Dr. Phil and have a one-on-one -on -one interview with him and he would never come to ask Dr. Phil if he would be his grandpa because he felt it would be pretty awkward and weird. Despite all the great content he has produced, Ryan's trump card was the Penny Challenge. Beginning on June 1st, 2022, he began a series in which he would set off from Los Angeles, California with nothing more than a cent in his backpack. He would then have 30 days to make it to Mr. Beast who lived in North Carolina. He explained that the reason he wanted to do this was that the United States Mint would stop producing pennies in the year 2023 and Mr. Beast does not own a cent. There was also a fundraiser that was done in partnership with Feed in America to generate money to put an end to hunger in the United States. For every $1 that was donated, at least $10 million will be provided. Over $1 million has been raised as a result of the fundraising, which is sufficient funding to provide at least 10 million meals. And to add a layer of intrigue to the mix, if people donated $50,000, Ryan's bank account would hit the great reset, leading to him starting all over again at one penny. Ryan was able to complete the challenge in 30 days. He was also able to generate $1.4 in contributions, which meant 14 million meals. Ryan was fortunate in that his original penny did not remain a penny for the rest of his life. The primary objective of his plan was to convert the penny into a few dollars and to convert those few dollars into even more money. At the end of the day, Ryan had a total of $42.70. Throughout the majority of the challenge, Ryan remained committed to this strategy. In order to get to Mr. Beast, he did odd jobs such as walking dogs, delivering food, and other miscellaneous work to earn money for travel expenses, hotel, and food. His ability to think imaginatively and quickly is what captured the attention of his audience. This is what allowed him to gain so many followers in such a little amount of time. The reason that Ryan is such a hit is simply that the man is pure heart. When he was asked about his videos, he said that when I was younger, I used to spend a lot of time watching YouTubers and I always thought to myself, wow, if I ever get a platform like this, I'm going to utilize it for good. Early on in my career, I made a pact with myself that I would not wait until I was the most popular YouTuber in the world before attempting to improve the world. There are a great number of people who watch my videos which have the ambition of making the world a better place. And now Ryan is responsible for it happening across 30 videos on YouTube. Why is it that only he is able to take the smallest amount of money and multiply it with his determination, but we are not? It's hard to walk away from one of his videos and not feel inspired or at least motivated to accomplish something amazing. When one looks at Ryan's channel, it is simple to assume 
assume that he is just another YouTuber that is trying to replicate the success of Mr. Beast in the challenging niche. However, after watching a couple of his videos, you can tell that his content demonstrates a great deal more. Ryan has managed to appeal to a wide variety of audiences with the content he makes and depending on the video, viewers could come from YouTube's personal finance, travel, or challenge communities. Even if you have no idea who Ryan is or why he's looking for a guy named Mr. Beast, there is still something about the content he creates that you'll find appealing.